Model Mine 72. What's up, Multiverse? This is going to be a channel talk. I haven't done a channel talk in a while. But sitting out here in the nature. Listening to the birds sing. I was just uh, wanting to talk to you guys about some of the things that's been going on at the Wicked Wizard Garage and what's been going on at with Model Mind 72 and uh, this, this uh, YouTube channel here. Normally I have these uh, scripted, but I'm going to go freestyle this particular time. It's going to speak about what comes to mind. You know, springtime is a time of rejuvenation and rebirth, transformation. You know, I know a lot of model builders out there use their hobby as therapy. One beautiful thing about our hobby is it doesn't matter if you're uh, young or old, the hobby opens itself up to all. Which is just the most beautiful thing. Looking around the YouTube community, we've got some of the best examples of human beings on the planet. I've always said that. Some really good human beings in this community. So, the channel, basically, what we got going on here is. A lot of, when I first started the channel, a lot of the older videos I would put, um, you know, being a musician and whatnot, I would put uh, music that I liked on a final slide video, and which was, you know, pretty much copyrighted material. And even though I gave credit to the people that, um, you know, created it, I always, you know, felt kind of funny being a musician. I thought, well, you should just put your own music, you know, make, make your own music, put your own music to your videos. And I have from time to time, you know, if you go back, there is plenty of original pieces and original works that I've just threw, to, you know, threw together and put put on there. So basically, all this comes to head now is to, uh, I've been going back through the channel and I've been taking all the old videos down that have uh, copyrighted material on them. And I've been remixing the videos. So anytime you watch a video on the channel that says remix, it's basically going to be a, a collection of edited videos on that particular piece, uh, coupled with like a like an original um, music, you know, that I have uh, put together. So. That's basically what's going on with the channel. Uh, there's a lot of videos that are take have been taken down by me because I'm, you know, in this reorganization process of the channel. So uh, a lot of the the older builds will be remixed in new videos with the uh, new music and um, you know edited together with a brand new video. For, this is great for all the old hardcore Model Mind 72 fans that love the old builds. They can, you know, kind of revisit these in a new light, these pieces in a new light. And plus the new subscribers, you know, they kind of can get a, um, their feet wet with this particular channel with these new these new remix videos. So that's what's going on uh, in that capacity with, with, with the content of the channel. Just gearing everything up towards to be you know 100% original and uh, I, you know I'm really proud of the channel it's a really really young channel in my mind uh, I believe uh, this September coming up it is I, I want to say it's gonna be three maybe three three years old three four years old something like that I have to double check but 
have it hasn't been long you know i've been building my whole life building you know i consider i've been building cars uh you know models my whole life and uh i've always said i would be building whether the channel existed or not but to have a channel a medium where an artist can actually put their work out to other builders and share uh, is just absolutely amazing you know it's just absolutely amazing so i'm so honored to have this channel and uh, the 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 um, subscribers the new subscribers the old subscribers thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart um, just know that uh, a lot a lot of reorganization around the channel is going on so uh, that's you know, if you see if you see an old piece in a new video and you're like, hey, I remember that build, that's exactly what's going on. It's just being uh, updated and, and reworked. So uh, another thing I want to speak about is um, give me a drink of coffee here. Nothing like being out in the nature, is it? Another thing I want to speak about is um, a lot of the builds, uh, the channel kind of took a, a, a different direction because what happened was I was building like I normally build. I had, you know, all these builds going on and uh, I got the idea to start racing the models again like I had done a long, long time ago. And what happened was I started building all these kits, all these cars with, with, with you know, chassis that roll. And uh, what happened was a lot of builds that were on the bench actually got converted from, um, let's just call them uh, stationary pieces, to actually racing cars. And I got so enthusiastic and I was so hopped up on this and I just kind of lost myself in all these builds. And the intent was to just to get the car to roll. And then later on, it would be a process of tweaking it, painting it, adding this, adding that. Because with race cars, there's different wheel configurations, different axle setups, different suspension setups and different paint jobs. I mean, it just opened up this whole wide world to me. And I kind of got uh, lost in this world. And uh, a lot of the regular builds, I was still building them here and there, you know. But the channel kind of went haywire there for a while. So I burned myself out on building all these race cars, basically. And then it was time to actually race them. And um, now I have to come up with classes, different classes for different cars to, you know, to race in. And I tried to break this down in a, another channel talk video. And I think I actually confused more people than um, actually explaining what I was doing. <laughs> so what I'm going to probably end up doing is just like doing it and filming it and then putting the content on the channel and then allowing viewers to find it at their own discretion and through visualization um so you know seeing the videos actually saying oh okay i get it this is this is what he's talking about this is what he's doing right so that is the intent as of now uh those videos will be you know filmed and basically what we got going on is uh, we're going to have different classes and we're going to have like a top 10 list. Okay. And I know that I don't want to confuse anybody about, you know, top 10 list, but you know, top 10 lists have been going on ever since uh, the good old days. So nobody has the right to claim this or that. It's pretty much free open market. And my top 10 list is just my top 10 list. People who follow this channel will get it and they will understand it and they will know 
what it's all about. And maybe they can share it with the people that don't understand. But basically what's going to go down is we're going to have different classes. And in that class, we're going to have uh, the top 10 list of that class. Now, if you win the championship in that class, well, then you'll obviously be number one on the list. And then there again, we'll have a top two, top three, top three, a four, and, you know, et cetera, on who holds those places in that class. Now, when they race and someone gets beat, well, they'll move up the top ten list, obviously. And uh, we're going to do that with each class. So there'll be a top ten list for each class. And um, the, the ideal was if anybody out there and YouTube land saw the race, saw the class, and said, hey, I'd like to build a car for that class. Obviously, they would ship it to me, and I would put it on the track, and I would race it. Now, if it placed, it placed, you know? And it would hold that place until it got beat, obviously. So, all those ideals are still out there, and, uh, and I challenge anybody to build a car to race. As long as you, you understand the class that you're racing in and the rules and regulations of that class, um, you know, you're good to go. So we're going to move forward with that ideal. A lot of the cars, like I said, they're not finished. They're just built to roll. And as the time progresses, they will be, they will be worked on and tweaked and, and modified to, you know, hold whatever position you know that car can hold uh, go all the way up the list as far as it can go so I'm really looking forward to that I, I, I've stopped building them I've got enough cars built to uh, to start the races now and just to see like how all that ends up all that content will flow onto the channel as uh, it becomes edited and um, available I'm going to kick back into now just in regular build mode of just building uh, projects. I need to finish up a lot of uh, projects that have you know been on the bench for some time. Y'all know I don't give myself uh, time limits on my builds. I like them to grow organically and and um, when they when I feel that you know it's time to, to do a video and put it on the channel I, I do it and it seems to work out pretty good for me that way so I'm gonna continue down that road wonderful lot I got a lot of uh, projects on the bench got a lot of projects um, that I'm looking forward to starting looking forward to finishing and um big shout out to all my subscribers thank you very much thank you for taking the time to uh listen to this video and uh if you uh have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section uh, this is one great hobby, guys, and I'm, I'm glad that I'm part of it. So this is Model Mind 72, another channel talk in the logs. So God bless all. I'm out of here.